Tipton's kangaroo rat, or K-rat, is not a reduced version of Australia's kangaroo. But when you observe the K-rat flee, using those large hind legs, you'll see the similarity. Tipton's kangaroo rat is on both state and federal endangered species lists. I took my camera and went with Aaron Tennant to observe trapping of the Tipton's kangaroo rat. <laughs> well, you might have gotten one shot of him. Hmm. The subject is faster than the camera operator. I'll try again later. But first, let's see where we are. One of the last strongholds for the Tiptons is in western Kern County. It is about um, over 10,000 acres, but 5,000 of that is probably made up of the um, northern semi-tropic ridge area. Um, we manage this area jointly with the Center for Natural Lands Management, who also has land out here as mitigation for a lot of threatened and endangered species. And so we're really sitting in uh, um, some characteristic habitat of the San Joaquin Desert. A paper was published in 2013 that made recommendations on the translocation of kangaroo rats. Aaron was the lead author of that paper. So one of the things that we recommended in the paper is, you know, that a lot of times, you know, when translocations occur, you know, animals are released um, and follow-up monitoring occurs, but often it's not intensive or it, and it doesn't really tell you enough to say whether a translocation is a success or failure or follow the population, you know, in the long term. And that's one of the things we've really recommended is that Especially, you know, when we have a lot of these small projects that come through and animals, you know, are recommended for translocation, we really need to continue to monitor those populations and find out if translocation is really an effective strategy. The trapping I was there to observe was for population monitoring. But if trapping in order to release animals into an alternate location, one consideration recommended is animal behavior. These species know their neighbors, and they they know who's around, and they they uh, I guess they probably have a a spatial map of you know who's in their territory and who's next to them. And um, Deborah Shear has done um, a lot of research on um, social relationships and how that affects translocations. And um, she suggested that. You know, leaving social relationships and uh, neighbors intact when you do a translocation is really important to the su success of that translocation. They are prey species. You know, they're um, a keystone species in these habitats. So, you know, you have to think about, you know, turnover rate is pretty high um, for any prey species. So, especially when you think about translocation, you know, that's one factor to consider is that you know, you need to release enough animals to take into account the fact that, you know, they are a prey species and, um, you know, they do provide food for a lot of different animals and, you know, you need to release enough animals that you're going to be able to sustain a population. Predators for um, Tipton, pretty much all kangaroo rats, they're the same. Um, the predators include species like San Joaquin kit fox, um, several species of owls, I think probably in this area primarily barn owls. Let's go back now and take a look at these tiny animals. We have a kangaroo rat in here, so I'm going to go ahead and put the bag over the trap. I put the trap upside down so that I can open it and then release the rat. I use these little mesh bags, so first I'll check and see if it's a recapture. When the weight of the bag is subtracted from the total, on average researchers have found the Tipton weighs between 35 and 38 grams. That's less than one and a half ounces. Okay, 48. So Tipton, you can see it has four toes and no fifth toe on the edge of its hind foot. And so this is a we call a scrotal male. You can see his testes have dropped down, so he's reproductively active. Um, 
looking for a mate. And he's marked with the blue Sharpie. This is a recapture. I don't see anything, so I'll to just pull him out and let's see. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to see through that bag. One of the disadvantages. So when we put them in the bag, we try to kind of encourage them to run up the bag so then it's easy just to scruff them and pull them out. One's hiding in there. Yep, he's yep. marked. So it is marked. And he's got a little cheek stuffed. And the same, it's got four toes, so that's a Tipton. And nicely marked. Now. Let's try from a different angle to get a look at the Tiptons when it's being released. The Tiptons is a nocturnal burrow dwelling animal. Yikes! It could probably use some sunglasses about now. Here's another release. Take a look at how long the tail is. You know, there's only, you know, maybe a dozen sites, ten sites that are left that really support this species. So their habitat is really fragmented, really dwindling, and really any site that has Tipton should be protected. And we really need to be focusing on that aspect of their conservation rather than, um, you know, strategies for translocation. Of course, you know, it does happen. We realize it's, you know, it's an option that you know, maybe will come into play in the future. And certainly, you know, investigating translocation and also reintroduction strategies may be really important for this species in the future. Um, you know, it's important to hang on to any habitats that are left that protect the species, but also think about, you know, where can we restore or reintroduce the species so that they, you know, can be recovered in the future. Oh,